And then we have, um, oh yeah, this is the Shockland. Okay, let's open that, let's open that. We're all excited about the Shockland. Welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Mirko K. And this is my very first Magic the Gathering video. I played long, long ago, 1996, as a student. Um, and I stopped playing after a year or something. It was too expensive and I was too stupid to play it. Um, and then 2022, I came back with Domar Dominaria United and oh, I wanted to do something else. I was before, you can check it on my YouTube channel, I was before doing FPV uh, drone racing. Um, but this was a very expensive hobby and everything you bought for that hobby was mostly for destroying. So you bought hardware for your drone and then you crashed and then everything was for the trash. But with Magic, most of the time, not always of course, you buy cards and you could theoretically buy, sell them later again, especially when you buy constructed decks. They have normally very, very high value cards inside. So it's a hobby where you can get the money a little bit back. And it's a hobby that I can do together with my wife because uh, she wasn't interested in FPV drone racing. Um, but she's interested in magic. She was playing magic back then too. So um, we bought together a Planeswalker starter deck, um, two of them, a white and a blue one um, from 2021. I guess you know them already with Teferi and I don't know the other one, Planeswalker. And we had a lot of fun. And then like always we switched to Commander, but only Kitchen Table to Mana. I was playing with my wife, uh, Kitchen Table to Mana, uh, uh, on the kitchen table, only together, one on one. Uh, and then I switched sooner or later um, to competitive Pioneer. And uh, then I started playing Pauper and uh, Modern. And yeah, that's it. Okay, I don't want to talk so much about my uh, introduction, but I wanted to talk a little bit because it's my very first Magic the Gathering video. So, hello, Magic the Gathering community. I'm from Germany. I'm doing the video in English. I'm going to maybe record all the videos in the future on Magic for Magic in English because I can reach a little bit more people than on in Germany. And this video today, maybe I'm going to cut here. Maybe I'm going to make a new video out of it. I don't know. This video today is about the Cluedo unboxing. Here it is. I, it just arrived today. I just in this direction. Huh? It just arrived today. Oh, maybe I can show it a bit closer. My camera has an autofocus. Here you go. But I'm going to switch now to the table and I'm going to show you the contents of that package. I'm super excited. This is the bad boy. It just arrived today and I'm so excited to open it. But I waited and I thought I'm going to do this together with you. So you can watch me live watching opening this, con opening this content with me together. Back then, um, long, long ago, 10, 20 years ago, I was a big fan of this uh, Cluedo, or in America it's called Clue, um, board game. I'm not a big board game fan, um, but Cluedo was all, always awesome, like guessing around who could be the murderer, the weapon and the room. I always liked that and I always had, like, felt like I had like a little bit elite and, and I was a bit smarter than the other people. I could ask those questions better than other people. Um, yeah, that's why when I, when they uh, announced that, that the set is going to come out, this box here, I was not so interested in the Ravnica, um, no, the the, the uh, murder of Karl of uh, murder at Karl of Manor, but I was interested in this beautiful box. Um, yeah, this is how it looks. Um, this is the the back side of that box. Here we go. Um, you have like an envelope for um, the, the murder weapon, the, the murderer and the room. And then you have some tiny notepads for uh, writing down your guesses. And then you have, uh, I guess, eight play boosters, not play boosters, um, kind of uh, jump starts, uh, similar boosters. That's two together, have 40 cards and then you have a deck and then you can play against each other. And like I said, I didn't open that bad boy yet, even when I'm such a big fan of Cluedo and Magic. Um, I waited to do it together with you so you can watch me now live in unbox that thing. I don't know what's inside. I mean, of course, what is printed on there, but not in detail. For example, the Shockland that would could be inside, that is inside. Um, and I don't know what Shockland it is. So let's see. Of course, no one knows that. Um, there comes this good old box. No, I didn't do so many unbox unboxing videos in my life. There you go. Let's remove the box. There's something inside. What is this? Remove. Aha. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Okay. That doesn't belong there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's remove the box here. Yeah, that doesn't belong there. Weird. That was on the bottom. Okay. Gone with the box. And now we have this box here. Outside the box, out of the box comes another box. Okay. Looks a little bit different than those bundle boxes. On the back, you can see all those different characters, I guess, that are in that world of Cluedo. 
Um, I remember back then there was Mrs. White and Mr. Blue and so on. Um, and Mr. Mustard, I guess this is Mr. Mustard or something. Um, I played it back then in German, so I don't know all the English na names. And let's open that beautiful box. And let's see what is inside. Hey, oh, I, like, oh, I like that unboxing feeling. Mm. Okay, we have um, four times. Um, a shield, a privacy shield, so you can hide behind and write your notes down. <laughs> okay, okay, that's really small. I expected it a little bit bigger, but okay, I guess it does what it should do. You can hide behind and write your, um, um, yeah, your guesses down. What could, who could be the murderer, and the weapon and the room. Okay, four of those. They write it already on the package. It's for up to four players. They, you could play it together with two. But uh, they recommend four, and I think you can even play with more people. Then we have, um, I guess, the manual. What is this? Okay, a tiny poster, like we have always in in precons. I know it from precons. Okay, with a tiny um, message, and then they did, ah, and then this describe the six different decks that could could get come together. Let's see what is in those booster bags, because I, I know there are eight in total, so you can get up to four decks, but here we can see up to six different deck combinations. So um, maybe, let's see, you know, a friend of mine bought another pack, so maybe we can reach all those six, but we will, with this pack, I guess only reach four, obviously. Um, let's put this to the side, and let's open more stuff. Okay, we have here, aha, uh -huh. this is confidential. This is where the cards come inside that um, guess, I guess in the beginning of the game get getting pulled. So you know, um, or you don't know, but it's hidden away. Um, who's the murderer? Who's the, what is the room where the crime happened and the weapon? And then you remove that, put it on the side. And then in the end of the game, or when someone says, I know it, I know who's the murderer and so on, then he can look inside and he does, he's not allowed to tell anyone when, he, when he's not right. So when he's right, he can say, I was right. Here are the cards. I was right with all the three things. And then he wins the game or she. Um, but when not, he cannot tell anyone and he, she, and then he, she has to, they has to live the game and um, they lost when they, because they guessed wrong. Um, then we have, okay, what is this? Um, I don't know what that is. Okay. Just two cards that have nothing on both sides. Maybe when you read the manual, you will, I will find out what it is. Um, and then we have... Um, oh, yeah, this is the Shockland. Okay, let's open that. Let's open that. We're all excited about the Shockland. What is the Shockland that comes with this? I play Gruel, so I wouldn't mind to have... Uh, but I have already all my Gruel. Yeah, uh, it's Rakdos. Swamp Mountain. No. Oh, it's, and it's... Whoa, it's already super bendy. Whoa. Pringly. Wow. Let's put it on the other side here. Oh, well, that's very strong foiling. Until today, Wizards of the Coast is not able to print foil cards no, without curling them. That's a bit sad. But it's beautiful, shiny, but oof, so curly. All right. Shock lands. Nice. We all knew that, that that will be inside. And let's put it on the side, but don't destroy it. It's a valuable card here. Um, we have... Ah, okay. All the evidence cards that's i think are 21 and they're all the same in all sets they're all the same in the cloider sets so you will see something everyone will get the shockland was not the same and the boosters have different content um, and then we have let's open that let's show that like like take make a tiny um so let's go da, 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 da. so all right we have a wrench i have a candlestick a lead pipe a knife, so those are all the murder weapons. The rope, or just rope. Then now comes the room, our, the rooms are coming. Ballroom. The billiard room. So these are lands slash rooms, funny. Um, conservatory. The dining room. The hall. The kitchen. The library. The launch, the secret passage. I know that. Ah, that was in the board game. You could like go from one room to another because it was always so, too, taking super long until you reached the rooms. The study, the apothecary white. Sorry for when I pronounce the names wrong. Those is those are the, um, the 
not the victims, the murderers, the potential murderers, or the characters now you can play in that game. Uh, Senator Peacock, Mastermind Plum, Headliner Scarlet, Emissary Green, I remember there were some names with the colors, and Commander Mustard. I said that from the beginning. I called him Mr. Mustard, but it's Commander Mustard. Nice. Okay. Those are all the evidence, car evidence cards. Like I said, they're all in all the sets the same. And then we have the, what is this? Okay, those are boxes, I guess, later for um, adding stuff inside. What it says, uh, suspects, weapons, and rooms. Ah, okay, you can store your cards later, I guess, in that box here. But I'm a little bit surprised that you they cannot close it. Maybe put it upside down and you put them here inside. I don't know. Cool. I like it. I should put them directly inside, but later. Ah, and I have now a clue. A clue. <laughs> Um, what that could be. That is like a separator, a box separator. Ah, you can even see here inside. Let's get the boosters out. You can even see inside there's like uh, space for adding those cards inside. All right, and you can slide them in and then they stay in this in this rail. Nice. I will do that later because I'm a little bit stuck and I don't want to destroy it. It's my precious Cloeda box. Um, and then we have the sheet of papers for writing down your clues. You know? The suspects, the weapons, and the rooms, and you can say, ah, oh, I think this player maybe, or he doesn't have the, the, the suspect bloop as uh, um, Commissar Mustard, for example. I'm, I'm pretty sure he doesn't have those cards. And my other opponent doesn't have it neither, and the one next to me neither, so I think it could be Commander Mustard. But I don't know it yet, so you make like a question mark there or something. You can come up with your own things, and everyone gets one of those one of those papers who plays, and I hope they are enough so you can play a lot of rounds. Ah, and you can write them on the other side too, cool. So you can use them both sides. And when they're getting empty, I remember that from Cluedo back then, then you just print your own ones. They're not that, not that complex, especially today. Back then we had to paint them with, with pencil on a, on a piece of paper. I couldn't just print them. And now the most important part, no, it's not really the most important, but I think a lot of people want to see that too, the boosters. So let's open them all. And we have 40, 20 cards inside, I guess seven lands and 13 uh, permanents. Um, and like I said, you open two, you put them together, and then um, you have a deck that you can already play with. So we have here Cult of Rakdos. Okay, it tells you already what's inside. Um, cool, I like that. I don't know if I'm going to open them all. Let's open one, but I think it will take a little bit too much time. Or well, let's open them all, I don't know. Let's see. Um, so I do a lot of stuff off camera because I have a weird angle of my camera. So this is a little easier for me when I do closer to me. We have Cult of Rakdos. All right, closer to the camera. It's a super weird position for me. I'm not going to read all the names of the cards. I hope it's not too bright with the light. Ah, uh, it's a bit oversaturated now. There, like there, there you go, it's a bit better now. A little bit lower, then it's a little bit better. There you go, I can maybe zoom in a little bit. Huh? Let's put it closer. So we have a whole deck in red and black. Uh-huh. In Rakdos, a land. We all know that land from Jumpstart. Sorry for the oversaturation, as it was more meant for be shot on the table. So maybe I should hold the cards there. And we have dual lands, not bad, but all tapped lands. Mm -hmm. I couldn't find any pure black card yet, only Rakdos cards, so there must be mainly mountains inside. Okay, wow, there's only mountains, wow, and zero duels. There's one dual land inside, this one here, and there's the one that came with as a box topper. Okay, two of them. And then we have this thriving bluff, okay, three. Okay, mm -hmm. all right. That is the Rakdos deck, and we have the, oh, the the top card that should be here. So I have Cult of Rakdos. Let's open the next one. And I'm going to sleeve them all pretty up, so when I play with them, they don't get destroyed. I have House Dimir. Sorry for the off camera opening. House of Demian. Mm 
blue, blue and black, Dimir, black, blue, black, Dimir, Dimir. Only blue, I guess this is only, mainly then blue. I guess we have mainly islands inside. Oh, okay, we have Dimir Signet. I like it. Mainly blue decks, it's so fun, L cards. It's funny that they call it Dimir, but there's mainly blue cards inside. But anything in black. Of course, dual, okay, and some islands, obviously. Okay, so they, I guess they function all the same. They have some basic lands, then they have two duels, and then they have this thriving eyebot as a duel too. All right. Next one. Let's not waste time here. Your precious time, I'm not going to waste here. Damn it. They are not so easy to open, the last one was already difficult to open. I like it when those you have those opening bands inside, you have to cut them open so you can access them. Now I can open it better, hopefully. Oh, just ripped off. Ah, there it is, there it is. All right, and then we have Boros Legion. Goblins, I put it on the ground here, on the table. And again, mainly red cards, even when it is Boros. So only some Boros cards, but no white cards. Two Boros lands, all right. Oh, bounce land, okay. Boros, Boros. I don't know. I thought they were legendary creatures, so you can create a commander deck. I oh, know the legendary creatures are the um, the suspect cards and some mountains. Okay, we're not going to check them all. Next one. Simic combine with a looks like a shark guy on top. I don't know all those cards yet. Maybe everyone knows says, oh yeah, it's this famous shark guy of, out of the set, swoop de whoop <laughs> Ah, damn it, when you want to open cards quick. Ah. Come out. Can't hide from me. And we have Simic combine, I said it already. Here, that it's centered. And again, only blue cards and some Simic cards, but nothing green. Funny concept. All right. But I guess it works better like that. Okay, um, I'm going to stop here, guys. I think you get the the, 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 the logic of that set. No? I guess there's something else inside. I don't know, but it's so weird. No? They're both, I just realized, they're both dual colors. So when I combine those two decks together, then I have a four color deck. Oof. Would be better when I combine a, a, a Demi and a, and a Simic deck together. So I have in both decks blue, but four different colors. Ooh, that's going to be difficult. I'm not going to crack that bad boys, at least not with you together. You get the logic. I guess you can always, you always pull one of those cards here. Okay. How's Demi? Is there. But it looks a little bit different now. This is the same. No, it's a different guy on the cover. No, yeah, it's a different guy. He has no no hairs here. Hair here, and the what does I have here? The the Boros Legion. No, this is Commander Mustard. I don't know how to combine more Commander Mustard with that deck. Maybe you have to edit. I, 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 okay, they are suspects. No, that you don't play them. I don't know. I have to read the rules. I have to try it out. But this was a pure unboxing. Not a, I explain you how this deck uh, the set works. I'm super excited to play it the first time. But you were there with me together when I opened it all, including evidence and including my precious, oh God, where's my shock land? My bending, my pringling shock land. Um, and plus, oh, there's so much more inside. Huh? Um, here, those separators. Um, and then we have 
the writing thing. I don't know what to call it in English. Uh, notepads, of course it's called notepad. Can I even fit it in the picture? Uh, the confidential envelope. Um, yeah, and then those different privacy shields. There's a lot of stuff inside for all. In Germany, I paid 50 euros for it. Okay, um, that's it with the box opening. I hope you had fun. I would be super happy if you leave me a tiny like or a big like and a subscription when you didn't do it yet. You can see that this is my first magic video before I did FPV racing drone stuff. So I'm going to do more magic content in the future. Soon I'm going to make a tournament, um, Power, Power Power and Pioneer tournament in um, Germany. So um, yeah, go go to mtgfest.de, mtgfest.de and check it out if you want to join. I would be happy to have you. Thanks for watching. See you hopefully soon. Bye-bye.